Hey friends, what's up? In today's video I want to answer one simple question, is Svelte ready for production? Spoilers, it is. So I honestly never get this question because Svelte isn't that new of a framework anymore. If you can see here, Svelte was released actually 7 years ago to this date, right? And to be fair, Svelte wasn't popular until Svelte 3, which again was released in 2019. Alright, so I didn't want to make you feel old, but here it is, right? So people always frame Svelte as this new, hot and fresh JavaScript framework, but it's really not, right? So for references, I'm going to use this Svelte site, I'm going to use Awesome Svelte Kit, I'm going to use this blog post, and I'm going to look at Weppalizer to get all of these awesome sites. So I'm going to put all of these resources in the description. And before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can also support me by becoming a patron. Alright friends, so I try to do my best to make sure that these sites actually are using Svelte because things change, right? Maybe people change their tech stack and etc. And I only try to include sites that are fully using Svelte. So for example, if you look at here, for example, companies like 1Password use Svelte for their inputs, they don't use it for everything, and that is something that you're going to see with all of these sites. They love all of these technologies, so you're going to see they use React, they use Vue, they use Svelte, because they probably internally have different teams, so they have their own preferences of a tech stack, so that's what it is. Alright, but I think the most important thing is to start at the beginning. So, this is something also that's really amusing to me. Svelte was always ready for production, because Svelte was made in production at the New York Times, where the creator of Svelte Rich Harris worked before as a graphics editor. So you can see here this tracker, any interactive article or post on the New York Times is using Svelte. So how beautiful is this friend? So if we check out this extension, Weppalizer, we can see that it uses Svelte. And let's see, it even uses Svelte Kit, right? So it detected the UI framework. And how awesome is this? And you can see some other investigative journalism pieces. So this is bots on social media, I think. And you can see this form of scrolly telling. So if we scroll down here, we can see this awesome article on the New York Times. And yeah, how awesome is that? So we can look at some other things just because I think it's so fascinating. So for example, we can see here the coverage of the Olympics and they can't actually show the footage from the Olympics because they don't have the broadcasting rights. So Rich Harris and the team at the New York Times made this awesome visualization using FFmpeg and Svelte. And you can see this looks really cool. And we can also see this is true if we go to another article. So here we have something about track running. So we can press play and you can see this beautiful visualization. And how beautiful is this, friend? So this is all made with Svelte. If we check here, let's see what's going on here. We can see here is Svelte. As you can see, the New York Times also uses React and these other things. But yeah, how beautiful is this? Here we have Svelkit, of course. And then let's go to some other awesome sites. So let's look at AppRite. And AppRite is really awesome. So you get the database functions and storage for your product. I think this can be self-hosted and they also have a cloud solution. So maybe you want to check this out. As you can see here, they also have some beautiful animations, right? And this is all made with Svelte and Svelkit probably. So let's just see what it's using. So you can see, yeah, it's Svelte and UI Framework Svelte Kit. And another similar product is Pocketbase. So this is an open source backend for your next software as a service and mobile app in one file. So you get a real-time database, authentication, file storage, and an admin dashboard. And they used Svelte Kit for this. So we can see UI Framework Svelte Kit uses Svelte. So you can check this out. I think this is also self-hosted and maybe they have a cloud solution. I'm sure I never tried Pocketbase, but it's something I might try, so let me know if you're interested in that. Alright, so AI is a hot thing, and one of the hottest companies is probably Hugging Face. So they have these awesome AI data models, so you can go to their site, you can look at this. They also use Svelte for their site, so we can look here what to use. And on some of these, it's really not accurate. So for example, here it doesn't have anything, but if I use the scientific method and open the elements, let's just search for... Svelte, and you can see here, we can see Svelte. So they're using Svelte for this site. How beautiful is this, friends? And since you're speaking about AI, here is Gradio. So again, I think this is really similar. I'm not an AI expert. I just think this, this is really fascinating. 
So they make this really simple to use interfaces for machine learning models and etc. So you can check out these sites if you want. But yeah, let's look at another example. So Syntax.fm is probably one of the most popular development podcasts. And this entire site is actually made with SvelteKit and the source is open to the public. So you can see JavaScript Framework Svelte, you can see UI Framework SvelteKit. And this site is really well done, of course, by Westboss and Scott Talinsky. This is really awesome. And yeah, that's it. We can navigate. We can go to the shows. So we can see this awesome navigation. We can see the built-in Svelte transition. So how beautiful is that? But yeah, that's basically it. Syntax FM. So let's look at another website, which is Level Up Video by Scott Talinsky. So this also is made with SvelteKit. So this entire course platform uses SvelteKit. So does Svelte scale? I don't know. You tell me, right? So if this is good for this, then it's good for anything, right? And another beautiful thing, this recently got acquired by Sentry. So all of this content on this site is actually free. So take advantage of it, go to Level Up Video and you can pick up any course you want. There's awesome courses on Svelte, JavaScript, React, whatever else you want. So this is now totally free because Scott now works full time on Syntax FM. So yeah, that was part of the Sentry deal. And now you can take advantage of it. How beautiful is this friends? Alright friends, so you might have heard of Fireship and he also based his entire course platform on Svelte slash SvelteKit, I think. I'm not sure, let's see. So he's using Svelte, right? He doesn't mention SvelteKit. But yeah, he is really a big fan of Svelte and his entire course platform uses it. And you can see it's beautiful. Alright, so let's look at another UI library. So this is the most popular component library for Tailwind CSS, Daisy UI. This also uses Svelte. So if we can see here JavaScript frameworks, it says Svelte, right? And it uses also SvelteKit, Tailwind and all that other good stuff. You can see a bunch of other useful information when you look at these sites. And this site is also beautifully designed. So we can look at this. This is really interesting. And we can just scroll to it. Let's see, can I toggle this? Oh, so you can see Tailwind only. So now when we switch to Tailwind Plus Daisy UI, you really don't have this soup of class names, right? So how beautiful is this, friends? All right, so you might have heard of this root company. I don't know, they're fairly niche. I never heard of it, but what is this? Apple, huh, weird. <laughs> so we can see here is music.apple.com and this entire thing is using Svelte. So we can see the technology JavaScript framework Svelte. All right, so speaking of music, you probably heard of Spotify, right? And while they aren't using Svelte for their music app or whatever else, if I'm not mistaken, I looked into it and they use Svelte mostly for their marketing pages. So here's Spotify where it's premium. We can look at what they use. You can see they use everything, they use React. They use Svelte, Next.js, and etc. And also, they use Svelte for the Spotify Rewind. So that entire experience is made with Svelte, I think. All right, so let's look at another huge company, which is Square, I think. And this is a payment processor. So everything here you see is using Svelte. So if we look at Webalizer, we can see that the JavaScript frameworks are using Svelte. Very interesting, GSEP JavaScript framework. <laughs> That's very interesting. But yeah. All right, so moving along, you might have heard of this niche company called IKEA, and they actually use Svelte for their site. So if we can check out the JavaScript frameworks, here you can see they're using Svelte. How beautiful is this? So we can peruse their site, which is really clean and minimal, as you expect from IKEA, right? But yeah, that's really awesome. All right, so here is another relatively niche site, Stack Overflow. And of course, they don't use Svelte for everything. As you're going to see, they use all of the technology because they have different teams. So if we look at here, they actually use Vue for everything here and Nuxt. But what they're starting to use Svelte for is a component system. And they're also exploring SvelteKit for some other things. So they really love Svelte. And Svelte is always on the top of the Stack Overflow survey for the most beloved JavaScript framework. And so you don't think that I'm making things up, let's actually go to the article from the blog post. You can actually listen to this podcast episode. So here is this article, why Stack Overflow is embracing Svelte. So I'm going to also link that in the description if you want to listen to it. So it's really an interesting listen. They explain what they're using it for on Stack Overflow. And yeah, if you're interested in that. And then the last cool site, the Brave search engine. So if you go to searchbrave.com, and look what they use, we can see they use Svelte. 
and they also use SwellKit here as you can see so they use this for the site itself and for the other apps that you can get here so for example if i press 2 plus 2 so Svelte is actually powering these widgets that you see here and how beautiful is this friends all right so the next time when someone asks hey does Svelte work in production does Svelte scale just link them to this video so they can check them out for themselves Alright friends, so basically that's it. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also support me by becoming a patron. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace.